Hey guys, just uh, doing a bit of a follow-up video on the will a 3D printed stencil work? Um, I think it will. It kind of worked with fashion with this one I had, um, but I posted a message on a unexpected makers video, um, which I think piqued his interest. So um, I thought I'd follow up and just to show um, you know what the results would be with a well printed stencil. Uh, when this is the one that Adam Welsh sent me that I showed in the last video where he swapped out his nozzle for a 0.2mm nozzle um, which has allowed him to get all the detail in there um, and this is the, the one that I had and I didn't let cool down which you can <laughs> kind of see the state of that on the on the back of it it was less than ideal so I managed to get okay results but not fantastic as you can expect um, one thing that I didn't mention in the last video also was the small fact of the Adam had very kindly sent me the latest revision of the boards there so these are the 2.1 boards which have the thicker track on the back which would be talked about it's very hard to see on the boards I've done um, it's this track here because I chose white <laughs> don't know why but yeah I chose white so um, but yeah Probably not be doing that again because I ordered some other boards today and I noticed that it's more if you order a different colour than green, so be green going forward. So yeah, so that was the old boards. So I think what I'll do is I'll chalk up the two I've done to experience, maybe it's, it could be used for smaller applications, see how it goes. Um, it may need a bodge wire, may not, but we'll see. So I've sped up the footage here, um, because you don't need to see me doing the whole thing, but Basically I've just taped up the corners there just to keep it totally flush and then just going around just going to put a, a bit of solder paste on each of the spots that uh, has a pad there and the idea is just not to get too much but we are going to scrape it off kind of like a screen process after, at, sorry at the end after we're finished. So I'm whizzing down there getting a liberal spread I'm not worried about too much anyway it'll be too little. Scraped it back there take the tape off and there you go now I've put it back to normal speed and this is the finished article as far as the using the stencil and I've got to say it's done a pretty good job nice little dab there on each of the uh, sections and it looks yeah not bad at all so the next process is then to start the components on and what I'll do is I'll speed up the footage again um, a bit of a human pick and place machine it wasn't the quickest process anyway I had things spread around when I was doing it um, but it does just take a while when you're doing it with tweezers you can see yeah and you'll be glad you're not watching the whole thing because quite often I went off frame um, so things just uh, will appear magically I quite like the effect of it, this is that, the other just appearing magically. So I went round and just placed them. And because it's got like a nice even layer on most of the pads, it was a lot easier this time putting the components on there because once there is a bit solder paste, it, it's got something to push into as it were and it stops the component moving around as much. So basically whizzing around here, placing all the components, being careful of the orientation because you need to get careful with the pin one for the the three chips and then also the diode needs to be pointing in the right direction as well so there you go that's the the finished board and then what we will do is we will apply some heat to that board so I'm just basically going all the way around here and trying not to put too much heat on this is a bit of a work in progress for me I'm not amazing at it yet and um, trying not to get too close it's deceiving it looks like I'm literally millimeters away but it's not just perspective because it's higher up and just trying to keep it moving at all times just get some heat in there um, and yeah and then you get that lovely there you go the first one going magical effect and you get that nice chrome type color and you know that the solar's melted and then just going round and again just keeping it moving as quick as possible and it works pretty well I've got to say and there is just a, a nice amount of solar paste lovely close up my finger there there you go 
and go all the way around the board catch all the components and it's important to get them all because once you've done it you don't want to be going back and putting any excessive heat through all the components again um, I think I did linger too long on certain places because the board does get extremely hot and the, the heat mat around it or under it the solder mat uh, got extremely hot as well so yeah so this is basically gonna whiz around nearly there only a few more components there's the ones at the top there's the thermal fuse and the the diode and the blue led there at the top now i will go back and solder on separately the battery connectors and the um i squared c connectors for linking up everything else but let me see this is the last component there you go that's that then my fuse is done not actually sure what great uh, effect the <laughs> heating up the thermal fuse will have and um, that much so I have to say overall this is uh, it, it's turned out pretty well just the right amount of solar paste which is the whole point of the stencil but it, it's actually worked extremely well so I'm really happy with that and um, but yeah so like I say I'll go back solder, solder those other connectors and then that'll be finished and that'll be uh, fantastic so cheers guys um, any comments suggestions or uh, questions about the board just let us know but um, thanks for watching um, please subscribe and uh, check in next time